Back in ETV. Hello and welcome to Balcony TV. We are in Austin. I'm Leanne Stott and we're joined by Chase. Hello, Chase. Hello. Hello. Tell me, what song are we going to be singing this morning? Sing a song called Prove. Prove. Here we go. Enjoy Prove. Everything is coming to an end. Don't be sad, we'll see them all again But let me set the record straight I am not giving up, I'm just so tired of the game We see what we want to see But nothing's gonna make me believe That sticking around's gonna change anything I want you to do what you got to do I want you to prove what you got to prove Everybody's giving up some ground But no, not me I keep it safe and sound inside my head And if you ask I bring it up again if you start bringing up the past We see what we want to see But nothing's gonna make me believe That sticking around's gonna change anything I want you to do what you got to do I want you to prove what you got to prove Time and time again it's on my mind The way it could have been But now we choose To carry on To die another day Before we sing a different song We see what we want to see But nothing's gonna make me believe That sticking around's gonna change anything I want you to do what you got to do I want you to prove what you got to prove I want you to do what you got to do I want you to prove what you got to prove Beautiful. Thank I you. liked it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I liked really, you too. really spoke to me, it did. Yeah? Yeah. I like it. Thank you. That was really lovely. And I've got your CD in my hand. Is it on here? That song? It's inside there. It is. It's inside. Spinning inside <laughs> there. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your CD. I love the cover. Where's that come from? Thank you. Um, that was my buddy Daniel Davis helped me design that idea. And um, I was looking for something that would explain the title a little bit, and I was uh, looking for inspiration at Lucy in Disguise down on Congress, and I saw those uh, animal heads. And I'll tell you, there's a really, really deep meaning behind it, but I don't really let anyone know. Can you tell us? It's a secret. Come on. I tell people we can it's... can handle deep. They, they need to figure it out for themselves. You know what's funny, though? I, mean, I didn't realize this until like way after I'd already published this. There's a whole culture of people that are like plushy people. 
that live in these animal costumes and forever they go to they sleep. They do socially and they do really weird things when they're wearing it and I was unaware completely but me too. Yeah. So you can hide basically. Yeah, you become someone new. A fox. That's actually my wife is the fox. Is it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Hello wife. And I know exactly <laughs> what the fox says. You do? Yes. Can you tell us? Um it's marriage only. Marriage only. Under the chupa. <sighs> Them. It's usually something sweet, though. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, how, if I want to get this uh, lovely CD, how do I how do I find it? How do I get it? You can get it online. You can. And you can get it in pretty much any digital store. Whereabouts? What do I look for? You look for Chase Gasaway. You do. Um, you can go to AmericanGladiators.com and look up my uh, wrestling persona, or ChaseGasaway.com, and uh, that's where you can find uh, pretty much anything I'm doing. Facebook and Twitter is kind of how I communicate with fans and. You're all over the internet. I am all over. All over. Yeah. And are you performing? Have you got any gigs coming up? I do. I'm about to be in Nashville for a week and then um, in various places there. I'm in Bryan at The Village and uh, I'll be at 121 Bar later on in February. Nice. And they got some other things up around town. I'm trying to tour regionally as much as I can because if you play too much in Austin, we have a lot of live music here. So people tend to find other places to to go. (laughs) And is this something that you always wanted to do? Was it a dream of yours or did you stumble into it? Did you just wake up one morning thinking, ah, I can do this? Um, it kinda, yeah, it music for me was very much since I was a kid. I've been in a church choir since I was in kindergarten. And that's kind of, I guess, where it started. And then the cello in elementary school and trombone in middle school and started writing songs in middle school. And, and uh, really being able to move to Austin after college and settle into the music community here, I was able to kind of do my first record, so I'm very excited about it. Lovely. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us in uh, beautiful, uh, sunny Austin. Frigid. Frigid. <laughs> my hands are about, to, there's barely hanging on there by the end. <laughs> Everyone's like, what's going on? <laughs> you did very well. They, Thank you. They, they played beautifully, even in this beautiful, wonderful... Well, the tinier the strings, the easier they are to play. It helps. So. I, I thought it was a really big guitar, but it's, it's not. It's a very it? small guitar. Very small. Well, we discussed, we're actually, we're both we were. actually 12 feet tall. Yes. And this is a normal size guitar. We're ginormous. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chase. You've been awesome. Thank you for playing Thank for you. us. Back in ETV.